cool. Hello, everybody. I'm here today with someone who I have known half my life, 14 <laughs> years to be exact. Yeah. She is an all-round legend. She works full-time as a teacher while studying for a master's, as well as working as a personal trainer on the weekends. She's competed in powerlifting, qualifying for national finals before having to pull out of injury, and works out of a CrossFit gym in Hartford called Talisman. She was recently recognized as one of the top 10 fitness influencers in Hertfordshire by Hearts Live, current cat mum. And to top it all off, she has recently just got engaged to her partner, my longtime mate, Charlie. Welcome. Hello. Wow, that was an amazing introduction. <laughs> oh, mate. I felt like you I should bow or something. <laughs> You've done a lot, mate. You've done a lot, a lot to be proud of. How are you? How's isolation? I'm good. Yeah, it's good, thanks. Um, we're just trying to enjoy it, actually. We're quite lucky we're together, so, um, yeah, it's good. 100%. I think, like, uh, you guys share, like, very similar passions as well with fitness as well, so that obviously must help that, you know, that needs to get done during the day. Yeah, although we don't, we're not very good at training together, actually. <laughs> he, he's yeah. in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you'd be the first couple to experience that. So you know. No. Um, but you're both teachers as well, yeah. We are both teachers, so we're still working. So again, we're lucky. We've got stable jobs right now. Um, we're teaching online lessons, and um, slightly different kind of expectations with our different schools. But yeah, we're we're still working. So that's that's interesting <laughs> it's tricky yeah no yeah um i mean honestly from from someone who is you know just trying to hold together some sort of routine because obviously you know the gyms are closed but um it's a blessing that you can work trust me because otherwise you go insane yeah i mean i feel for parents right now it's not um i feel for teachers it's not a normal environment for us to be in it's not natural for us as teachers we want to be there for the children that we teach so um yeah it's tricky yeah it's difficult i mean i see talking of like switching over to like online like i see um you've been working a, a online a lot like a lot of us trainers and uh, talisman are uh, the the gym you work at are providing yeah. online classes which look like there's great demand for i mean due to the attendance i've seen on the screen grabs like how have they been and you know how can people who don't know where your gym is or whatever get involved yeah so um they are running a great timetable of zoom classes so you don't have to be a member to get involved in them so if you are a member then all of your zoom classes are um, included in the cost of your membership and um, if you're not you can pay um, a one-off kind of donation um, to the gym and obviously you know i have a full-time job but the other guys they that is that is what they do full time um yeah. and you know it's tough for them right now so um people just make a donation um it's actually a really good way of trying us out if you haven't been before you don't need much equipment at all lots of the sessions are um just body weight and if you don't have the equipment then we we can um you know amend the workouts and suggest things that you can do instead but yeah i do a class on a saturday morning still nine o'clock on zoom and um we've regularly got 15 um plus people tuning in and joining in so it's amazing it's such a nice way to start on a saturday that's fantastic i mean i know from obviously from what i've experienced i know that you guys are mainly i would say obviously you do a whole of different disciplines but you know you are involved in the crossfit community and uh, one of the the real huge selling points about things like that is the sense of community and i see from obviously you know how you yourself interact with other trainers and from seeing the instagram of talisman and, and the stories and stuff there is an obvious real sort of like team spirit there between you know clients and trainers and it's really nice to see especially in these times that people can still get together yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's it's a CrossFit affiliated gym um, and CrossFit, how it should be, is all about training together and cheering other people on. Um, and I think so, in some CrossFit gyms that I've been to, it can get a little bit too much about, you know, the time on your stopwatch or the weight on your bar. But Talisman is not like that at all. It's such a community and 
um, yeah, it's amazing. Like one of the girls organized a Zoom coffee for after my class this week and it's just such a nice place to, to train. That's nice. I mean, I'd never want to turn a coffee down, but that's, that's really <laughs> nice to meet that community. I mean, obviously with, uh, with say, you know, obviously with this, this lockdown, you've got someone like, you know, Joe Wicks, who I think his intentions were, were really pure in a sense that, you know, he's downloading all the extra uh, proceeds from his YouTube to charity and things like that. But um, he has essentially given a service for free to people which would they would normally pay for. What would you say is, you know, the difference between a real basic PE class and like the classes that are happening that you guys have provided for, which people just need to make a donation for? Yeah, I mean, I would say that... Um you know, I think it's amazing what he's done. And I think I know a lot of the children that I teach, they will take part in his classes. And as a family, they enjoy it. Um, I guess it's equivalent to like the BBC Bite Size are, um, you know, providing a lot of free lessons at the moment. Um, and so that's great. And it's got a place. But um, you know what we do as personal trainers is we make it personal to the clients that we're working with and you know if you're providing something on mass um, it's definitely got a place but I don't think it takes away from what a personal trainer can offer even over zoom you know your your catering your workout to um, the needs of your client and you're there with them every step of the way and yes things are different to how they would be if you were in a gym but they're just different so um you know i think there's definitely still room in the market for for both awesome so i'm, I'm going to move on to you but just before we do um where can people find talisman on social media um so talisman has got an instagram page called we are talisman and um yeah you can find it on there the two owners are um tyler and jade you'll find them as soon as you go on to we are talisman um yeah d definitely get involved i i will always put a swipe up link in my story if you want to book onto my class but all of the um trainers that coach there are absolutely you know experts in their field i learn so much every time i train with them and um yeah it's a great place to be so come and join i feel i feel very much the same it's all, it's all about learning from your peers isn't it um yeah. but what about your own personal workouts like what equipment are you working with and do you have a split if any or a goal in mind and Okay, are you uploading so, any personal social any any workouts to your social media and if so where can people reach you yeah so um my instagram account is um at charlotteann.uk so anything that i post you can find on there um so i'm used to training um as a power lifter and i like training with um a bar and i don't have a bar at home um yeah, we've got great, two right? yeah we've got two kettlebells <laughs> So we've got six, we've got a pair of 16s um, and a 24 that Talisman oh. gave us okay. um, to use. And then um, we have just got uh, an air bike um, that a fantastic gym in Stevenage called Renegade has lent us um, because in two weeks time, on the 9th of May, yeah, 9th of May, um, David and I are going to do 13 hours on the air bike to raise money for the NHS. So we are wow. at the moment uh, started today, just did my first session this morning. That's what we're training for at the moment, which is really nice for me because um, I work so much better when I have a goal uh, and that was kind of lacking. I don't really have the, the grip or the um, coordination to use kettlebells properly without feeling really frustrated so it's been good for me to use them but yeah I mean I equally don't like the air bike but um, <laughs> you're not supposed to like it I yeah. guess if it's a challenge will there be will there be a link posted out because like everyone knows that like cardio is hardio isn't it so yeah um, I know David was a great cause and it's a sacrifice to have to cycle that far you know yeah, so we're going to, we'll, we'll post um, a Just Giving. I did a post about it on my page today and it's amazing. I think it's had like 25 shares or whatever. So it's really nice that people are just sharing it in their story and um, 
talking to friends about it. So yeah, we're going to make a Just Giving page and um, and see where we go. Amazing. So um, obviously we're working to a 15 minute time frame for you know IGTV yeah. and stuff like that. But just quickly towards the end, obviously we were meant to do a powerlifting qualifier together, but Corona got in the way. Yeah. Tell us about what powerlifting means to you and what sort of numbers were you doing in the run up and what body weight are you? Um, so I feel like a bit of a fraud doing that actually because I'd only really just started training for it. So um, uh, back in the day when I actually did powerlift, I used to go into the under 63 category and um, my one rep max on my deadlift is 145. Uh, my one rep max on my squat is 110 and on my bench is six. 65 in competition and a little bit more than that in in the gym but um Strong. yeah but i like i feel like a bit of a fraud saying that because i haven't um hit those numbers in a little while i mean i was hit, i was kind of i was kind of close but um yeah yeah you know it's, it's all the adrenaline on the day when you're doing competitions anyway but um just just to wrap it up um have you got any advice to anyone specifically for fitness um, or even balance? Because I know you balance a lot in your life, like who are struggling right now to either be motivated to work out or are really struggling with that balance. Like, what would you say to them? Yeah, so I am. Um, people often say to me, like, how do I balance things? And I, I really think that I don't do it very well. I mean, I get really quite stressed out, which is not what you guys would see on my Instagram or anything like that, because obviously that's a highlight reel. So firstly, I would say just take um, all social media with a massive pinch of salt. You know, people aren't putting out there the times when they're stressed out crying, the times when they don't meet deadlines, the times when they're up all night trying to meet them. Um, you know, people aren't putting that kind of stuff out there I'm doing a master's at the moment in special needs and um, I was doing it alongside working and I had many many nights where I would be up till two and then getting up again at five and you don't post that kind of thing because it's kind of um, you know a bit of a downer for everyone so I would just say yeah. to um, focus on yourself and if the kind of comparison between you and other people is becoming an unhealthy one then you just need to take yourself away from it um you know to the point of like just delete the app for a little bit um wh whichever one it may be and just take some time to focus on what you're doing and then just like you know if you can't change things don't just don't worry about them. Like we're kind of stuck in a situation now where, where we need to be staying inside. It's so important that we're doing it. We're looking after other people by doing it. So don't wish for things that you can't have right now. Just yeah, definitely you know, that kind of thing. I think. Yeah, I think that's good advice. I mean, obviously, um, I think yeah, it's just very hard, you know, to to we're used to achieving goals i mean it's like a it's like a thing when you're into fitness but you know some people are feeling bad about the weight they put on and stuff and i think that it's important you know not to to try to get absorbed too much by the pressures and just be thankful that you're alive and safe but yeah but anyway thank you very much for joining me today you're welcome and we did well for time we've got two minutes so we're good <laughs> <laughs> all right mate take care of yourself Later. Bye. bye